Welcome back to the Gridiron Expert. We're continuing our Big 12 football predictions today, and our next team, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. So Oklahoma State, just like Oklahoma, had a pretty poor start to the season last year. Oklahoma started off 1-2, and two, and Oklahoma State tar started off 2-2 two and two with that crazy loss to Central Michigan in the second game of the season. Uh, I know it was very controversial, uh, and even on their Alamo Bowl victory rings, they did not count that Central Michigan loss because uh, it was very controversial. Ref screwed it up. Whatever. Anyways, started off 2-2, two and two, ended, up, uh, ended up winning a lot after that, only losing one more after that, or two more after that, to Baylor and Oklahoma. Finished the season 10-3 and three with a victory over Colorado in the Alamo Bowl. This season, they're going to be a very dangerous team, 12 returning starters, most uh, dangerous on offense with Mason Rudolph at quarterback and James Washington at wide receiver. A very dynamic duo there. And as I've said earlier, Sports Illustrated predicts Oklahoma State to finish number four in the country and make the college football playoff this season. So let's see how they're actually going to do. The start of the season against Tulsa, another good offensive team. Could have put up a lot of points. Shouldn't be any problems for Oklahoma State this season. Expectations are high. Uh, Tulsa has given some teams some scares in the past. They also lost, they lost tons of offensive firepower this past season. I think Oklahoma State gets the win over Tulsa there. And then they have to travel an odd matchup to South Alabama. Uh, keep in mind, South Alabama is one of those dangerous Sun Belt teams. They're not up towards the top like Appalachian State and Arkansas State. Uh, but last year they did upset Mississippi State on the road and then did defeat San Diego State, who was ranked at the time. So watch out for South Alabama. Although I don't think they're going to be able to upset Oklahoma State. But it is very interesting that they are traveling to South Alabama. It's going to be a fun one. And then Pittsburgh a team that Oklahoma State almost lost to last year. They won that game in another shootout, 45-38. to uh, Pittsburgh team, I think, is going to take a little bit of a step down this season uh, if you go back and watch my predictions for them. They do have to travel to Pittsburgh, so it is on the road. It's always a cause for concern. But in the end, I think Oklahoma State will have more talent than uh, Pittsburgh. and should start off the season 3 now. And then they get TCU in their first conference game of the season. TCU, a dangerous team, returned 10 starters on offense and 7 on defense. They're going to be very experienced. Last year they were 6-7. and seven. I expect a major turnaround for them. And Gary Patterson, as we all know, is going to do a good job and will not let uh, them have another disappointing season. But this year it's at Oklahoma State, which is going to play a huge factor. I once again uh, expect a lot of offense in this one. Uh, could see tons. I think but in the end, with uh, it being at home and with them really, Oklahoma State, fighting for that uh, playoff spot, they're going to get the win over the Horned Frogs. But do expect a lot of offensive fireworks. And really, it could also come down to quarterback play. And in terms of maturity and skill, I think the award goes to Mason Rudolph for that. Uh, I think he is much better than Kenny Hill at TCU. And then they travel to Texas Tech. Once again, more offensive fireworks. I can see a lot of offense in this one. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to give Oklahoma State the win because I think Texas Tech's defense could be the problem this season. Uh, Oklahoma State, I think, will end up having a better defense because they can just put it all together. As we saw last season, Texas Tech could never just really put it together. And as I've said earlier, this could be the end of the Cliff Kingsbury era uh, at Texas Tech if he cannot get them back to a bowl game. I'm going to go Oklahoma State to win here. And they're starting off the season 5-0 and going into their bye week. But the schedule gets much tougher. They're starting to play the top dogs in the Big 12 after that. Not to say TCU is not, but Baylor at home, at Texas, at West Virginia, and Oklahoma. This is going to really define the season for Oklahoma State, this four-game stretch here. Two on the road and two at home. Baylor, a team that uh, is going to probably struggle a little bit this season. Could be a little bit of a rebuilding season with Matt Rule coming in from Temple. Uh, I think he's really going to slow their offense down. We've been used to them having some high-flying offense under Art Bryles. Don't see that happening this season. Uh, and I'm going to give Oklahoma State the win. A lot of factors do contribute to that. Talent-wise, they're also going to get a week of rest. It's at home. Uh, it's also homecoming, if you didn't know that. So I think that's just all pointing up for an Oklahoma State victory there. This is where it's going to get tough, though. At Texas. Texas is a very tough place to play. They return 17 starters, 7 on offense, and 10 on defense. Will they be able to slow down Oklahoma State's offense? And I think they will. Tom Herman, I think, is going to be doing a great job this season at Texas. He's really going to turn this program around. Uh, he's going to have a good year this year, but wait for the future. Just like he did at Houston uh, these past couple years, getting them to uh, that New Year's Six Bowl a couple years ago. Uh, I think he could really do some damage here at Texas. I think they're going to get their first major win in the Oklahoma State's perfect season. And then at West Virginia, I know this game will cause a lot of controversy. I'm predicting another loss here for Oklahoma State. Uh, this is one of those toss-up games for me. 
I know West Virginia does not have as much talent. They only return eight starters, but they do get Will Greer and at quarterback. I know he's not going to be the big difference maker, that he's not going to lead them to the Big 12 title or anything, but I think that's huge for a West Virginia team that's looking uh, to replace Skyler Howard from last year. And right now, I'm going to, I'm going to give Oklahoma State the loss. I know that they are very unlikely to lose back-to-back -back games, but with it being on the road and them coming off a loss to Texas, whether that's close uh, or a blowout, we don't know. Uh, but I can see them dropping two, uh, two in a row this season. I think Oklahoma State will lose two games this season. I'm going to predict these two. Uh, but if one of these games they were more likely to win, it would be West Virginia. But right now, I'm going to keep it as a loss. Then they get Oklahoma. They're going to need a major bounce back, uh, Oklahoma State, if they're going to want to try to make that Big 12 championship this season. And it's going to come to Oklahoma. Their offense is still going to be very potent, uh, very dangerous. And I think they're going to bounce back, defeating their in-state rival, Oklahoma, at home the win there that's gonna be huge for them and then Iowa State a team that's very also very dangerous to play at um, but I don't think Oklahoma I mean, we saw what they did back in I believe it was 2011 you know Oklahoma State was one win away from potentially playing for the national championship lost to Iowa State on the road um, so we'll have to wait and see how what, what happens here but I don't think Iowa State's gonna be able to upset the Cowboys in this one uh, I just I'm just not too confident in their team this season I think it's going to be another down year for them, but they, are, they will eventually get there. And then Kansas State and Kansas, back-to-back -back home games, close out the season, much needed. Kansas State could be a very big surprise team led by Jesse Ertz, another dual-threat quarterback. Need to watch out for him and just the Kansas State team in general. They could be very dangerous. But right now, I'm going to give them the victory um, over the Wildcats. And then Kansas, a lucky game to close out the season. Hopefully, they can rest their starters in the second half there. Shouldn't be much of a competition. And that's also going to leave Oklahoma State with a 10-2 record, but with two conference losses, Oklahoma only have one. So you have to watch the rest of my Big 12 predictions to see if I have anybody else being uh, ahead of Oklahoma State. Uh, it would most likely be TCU, Texas. I don't really think West Virginia would uh, qualify for that, but you have to wait and see. But Oklahoma State, if they can win the Big 12 championship, assuming they make it over Oklahoma, beating them twice, uh, could also be like the Sooners, like I said earlier, being on the outside looking in for that uh, playoff berth. We'll just have to wait and see. But they're in for another good season, at least another 10-win season, I think, and, and are going to be very dangerous, especially on the offensive side of the ball. So I'm very excited to watch this Cowboy team. So please continue to like, comment, and subscribe, and please continue to share our videos as we continue to watch or continue to predict these Big 12, uh, Big 12 teams right before the season starts on August 26th. And we'll see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.